Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we have the news that Archwell suffers 9 million pounds drop in revenue as donations dry up. Which, by the way, comes as a complete shock to me. I, I could never have imagined that there were people who actually donated money to Archwell. Now, honestly, who could be so naive? And what kind of interest could be at stake there? Well, it, it so happens that the Harkles organization received just under one and a half a million pounds in donations in 2022. This came in the form of two donors contributing 800 million each. Hmm, perhaps one of those is our mystery billionaire who's waiting behind the curtains until there is actual blood in the water so he can sweep and take over the Archwell and Sussex Royal brands. Or maybe the intention is to create a Royal Tacos brand in the United States. I don't know the legal implications of this, but I don't think it will have many fans at Buckingham Palace. The huge difference in the amount donated to Archwell equated to a total drop in donations of almost 9 million pounds in just 12 months. This resulted in Archwell making a loss of half a million pounds as the foundation had expenses totaling what? More than 2 million pounds? <laughs> what the? I, I can only say Merry Christmas all year long, Harry. But uh, one of the ways they have spent that money is making a video about their achievements. Harry and Meghan released new Impact video just hours after Catherine's film with George, Charlotte, and Louis. In that video, there's this uh, clip where Meghan seems to be listening to a girl talking. And I say seems to be because you know that Megan's attention is conditioned exclusively by how many steps of the social ladder you can help her climb. Or maybe she was just posing for the camera. Women empowerment. But never forget to piggyback on Ovalde because... Um, uh, you should never let a tragedy go to waste. Also, make sure you hug those veterans and take those selfies because you need to feel that video album. It's good for public relations and that way Ari Emanuel would not be that much pissed off at the end of the year. And Megan Small found this snippet of their Archwell page. Restoring trust in information from the two biggest liars who spread the most misinformation and both have lied to the courts. I can't stop laughing at their delusions. Seriously, what kind of drugs are these two on? And thanks to royal expert Princess Consuela Banana Hammock, we know this. James Holt, <laughs> Archwell's current CEO, is paid more than twice than his female counterpart for the same position. Harry's wife is no feminist. Does this look like fair to you? Don't they have the same responsibilities? The same risks? The same stakes? Yeah, all those words are just dust in the wind. All that women and girls empowerment is empty promises. But UK royalty has a very good explanation of this sudden drop. The Archwell video and impact report aren't meant to try to overshadow the royals. They are trying to distract from the financial filing. Interesting that the financial filings are for one year, but the impact reports are always for a two-year span to make them their scope seem bigger. Now, the pretending that they are doing something is going a bit too far, as you can see in this totally not made up headline from The Telegraph. Duke and Duchess of Sausages educate judges on bias against black women. The royal couple's plans are highlighted in a report detailing their charitable foundation's work over past year. But first of all, 
I have to congratulate the graphic design intern at The Telegraph because he or she made sure to pick the right screenshot from their annual video where Harry looks the most sloshed or stoned or high. It's like Harry himself is telling the unknown intern, good job. Archwell, the Sussex's nonprofit organization, is working with the Georgetown Center on Gender Justice, an opportunity to train American judges in how to rethink harmful, ge harmful gender stereotypes, especially those affecting black women and girls. <coughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, next year, the training program will be extended across the U.S. to further help medical students and professionals, law enforcement, and educators. It is one of 38 programs the couple have supported this year, according to a newly published impact report. Well, Megan has come a long way since that moment in the dog show documentary, where she revealed that prior to entering the royal family, she never felt like she was treated like a black woman. And I still wonder why. I would like to understand how is it possible that the Montecito morons are either 100% tone deaf or plain evil or both? Because it's more than obvious that every single strategy of their activism, whether from the Archwell umbrella or their own indirect recollections, is blatantly focused on denouncing racism. Then Harry said, that Megan never said that word, and then they backtracked completely, and then Scobie said that uh, not because his book had 20,000 words on the topic of race had anything to do with race, because English, I think. But nobody can forget that the two greatest hypocrites in modern history, the private jet echo warriors, the anti-feminist feminists, Exactly one year ago, accepted an award for their heroic stance against the structural racism of the royal family. Or was it unconscious bias? Oh, my head hurts. Uh, how can you keep track of all these special words that these people make up? Unconscious bias, genetic pain, what else? Even, even Harry is happy that he has redeemed himself from his dark past referring to people in less than flattering ways. But uh, of course, uh, they are the pioneers in attacking the racist royal family for all this. And that's why they have tried so hard to rebrand themselves as the new royals with headlines like this. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry just announced their new project and it's got Royal Inspo, the welcome project currently running in eight states and Washington, D.C., has a connection to Megan's work with the Hub Community Kitchen in the U.K. All right, plain old misdirection. They are making sure to do anything, as crazy as it might be, so that people forget that their foundation is in shambles. But don't forget the claims. It claims that Meghan is going to repeat in her upcoming book. Meghan Markle said to elaborate on royal racist row, 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 in upcoming book, expert. Uh, do you remember when we tried to guess the name of Harry's book? That was a fun game back then. But I've tried to do the same for whatever Meghan writes and has more than 10 pages, of course. A great title would have been Orange is the New Black, but sadly, it's taken. Uh, such a catastrophic 2023 for the Harkles, with an abysmal financial record for Archwell and Harry having to pay the mail on Sunday £50,000 by the end of December can only be fixed by the most amazing Christmas car ever. Will they be able to get the mythical double little bed car? That remains to be seen, because it never happened. I would love to know what you think about this in the comments. My royal rogues, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the royal rogue. And until we meet on another video or another live, remember the two most important words, much love and bliss.